gonna be good and it's gonna be fine. been about a week since I got back from my travels. I was just in LA for a bit and then like two days later I went to Paris with my mom and my sister. So now that I'm back I've been like trying to find a sense of like normalcy and calmness. Also really trying to get back into my routine that makes me feel good emotionally, physically, mentally, all of that stuff. So I figured I'll take you on like a productive week in my life. And today is actually Tuesday. Yesterday was a whirlwind, but today, I know it doesn't look like it because it's so bright outside, but it's actually like five o'clock. I just got done with my work for the day and I'm actually about to head into the city because I need to shoot this like brand partnership. My sister is actually helping me with that and we're also going to dinner. We're going to a spot that's been on my list forever, but I just haven't had time to check it out. So I'm really excited for that. And then we're also going to a brand event. It's actually the Say Beauty event and I love Say. They're one of my favorite makeup brands. I'm actually wearing their blush and their lip gloss right now. So I'm really excited and yeah, welcome to a little week in my life. I'm actually about to change and head out, but I wanted to show you guys these beautiful flowers Nick got me. He always gets me flowers whenever I come back from a trip without him and this one, he got it for me the day I got back, which is like a week ago and they're still doing amazing and I'm just obsessed with it. It just makes me so happy to look at them. Okay, but now I really need to get ready and head out. So, see you soon. Bye. Now we're on the way to dinner. We're going to Golden Diner. I've never been, but I've wanted to go for so long, so I'm so excited. Have you been? No, I heard so good. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> Good. 
on the way to the studio. I haven't been to the studio in like almost three weeks because of all the traveling that I've been doing. So I'm so backed up. Like I don't even remember what needs to be fired and what's ready to be glazed. It's just been so long. And because I'm going to Asia for a while in April, I just like need to finish everything that I want to finish. So the next few weeks, I'm going to be in the studio quite a bit. So I'm excited to share some of the things that I have been working on. Part of me didn't really feel like going to the studio. Like I know that it'll make me feel so much better and I know I'll never regret going, but you know when you're just like kind of feeling down in the dumps and like the things that you know make you happy, like you just like don't feel like doing anything. It's kind of how I was feeling, but I know myself now and I'm a little bit smarter now enough to know that the good thing is to just go because I'm gonna feel so much better afterwards and it's gonna be good and it's gonna be fine. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to the studio. coffee this morning but I'm gonna make some breakfast something very simple a new one in Brooklyn that I'm excited to check out. I just like kind of want to get the house. It's beautiful today. I'm gonna spend a few hours working. Just trying to catch up. I still have a lot of work to catch up on. It's another day. Here are like the not so pretty parts about Brooklyn that you might not always see on the internet. Off 
flight for work. I'm shooting a little social campaign, so that's where I'm headed right now. Also, this is like one of my favorite views. But yeah, I have to shoot. It shouldn't take too long. And then I have a few errands to run. And I also just have to do my taxes. I think like freelancing sounds fun and glamorous until it's tax season. Because that is just never fun. This is where I'm shooting today. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Saturday in New York. It's gray and it's gonna be raining all day. It's been raining all morning and it's just not gonna stop. And normally I would like stay my ass in all day, but today is a special day because my sister branded this new Korean beauty store that's opening up in Williamsburg. And today's like their little like soft opening. They're doing like a little event this morning for their close friends and family. And because my sister did the rebrand, they also invited her and she was able to invite some friends as well. So of course, I'm going there to support her. I'm excited to show you guys what my sister has branded. She's just amazing and one of my biggest inspirations, of course. So I'm excited to celebrate her and support her. And yeah, it'll be exciting to have like a new K-beauty store in New York. So yeah, I'm gonna go trek in the rain. So let's go. I'm actually gonna stop by the farmer's market because I really want to get her some cute flowers. But um, we're gonna see if the flower stand is even there today because it's raining and I'm not sure if all the vendors are out on rainy days. So we'll see. So much rain. Okay, it's kind of a good sign that I see some tents and the flower guys are usually over here on the right, so let's see. Oh my god, it's raining so much harder now. The flower guy was not there today and I don't blame him. So now I have to walk to a coffee shop I love that I know will have beautiful flowers, but now it's going to make me a little bit late. But I think it's better to be late holding something than showing up early empty-handed. So that's how I'm making myself feel better right now. <laughs>
like so sunny and nice out. We kind of spent the morning chilling and ha we had a very slow morning. Uh, Nick got like little like pastries yesterday. So we had that this morning and coffee and planned a little bit of our Korean Japan trip. And right now we're heading to Ridgewood, which is in Queens, but not too far from Brooklyn. And I had this place called Sa Salty Lunch Ladies Luncheonette saved on my list for so long now. But it's kind of a trek to get there, but we have a car now, so we're driving over there. They have these cute little sandwiches and little cakes, so I'm super excited. I must say, having a car in Brooklyn, it's like you're living a whole different life. It's like kind of a game changer because we get to go places that we normally wouldn't go as much because it's so difficult to go by train. Okay, bye! <laughs>